Hey guys, uh, welcome to the EC1 acceleration test and the Z axis test. So uh, here we go, just to test the mouse for acceleration. We have here Quick Live, and what am I gonna? What I'm gonna do is first of all move the mouse extremely slow, so you can see my mouse is moving extremely slow, and my person is panning extremely slow. So pretty much move my mouse the entire way and I pretty much pan like nothing so let's just like move this back and now to make it uh, a little bit more faster I move this little and it pans that much move that more it pans that much again acceleration test yeah there's, def there's definitely an acceleration uh, in this mouse. Um, you can't really set the acceleration, there's no firmware for this to turn off acceleration, so I don't know exactly how you're supposed to change that, but there's definitely acceleration. It's like really, really slow, and then you just go fast, and yeah. So, is this exactly good for FPS? Uh, maybe not. Uh, I prefer no acceleration, but I guess this is just a test for acceleration. So, next up, we have the Y Z axis test. Basically, I'm just gonna like. Uh, Okay, so if I bang the mouse hard enough, it changes the... Okay, so if I bang the mouse hard enough, it makes the mouse too as well, so... No, no Z-axis problem, the pressure stays absolutely fine. Lift-off distance, absolutely uh, very low lift-off distance, so that's uh, very, very good. Oh, very, very low lift-off distance, so... To conclude, acceleration, yes, Z-axis, uh, no problem, and lift up distance, low. So that's the test of the Zoe EC1.